2018 Chevrolet Traverse Review. On the look for a three-row SUV with passenger space to spare? Check out the 2018 Chevy Traverse. For 2018, the redesigned Chevy Traverse loses weight and gains power, passenger space and technology, and also a new luxury level top trim. In this case, the top numbers are almost 400 less pounds to cart around plus an extra 3 inches of legroom for your second row passengers. Third row legroom has increased substantially, offering over the Honda Pilot and Toyota Highlander. You'll be hard pressed to discover more passenger room without taking the initiative to a full size SUV. Along together with the extra passenger space is undoubtedly an increase in overall cargo capacity. With 98.5 cubic feet of accessible space, the Traverse is tops inside the class in terms of interior space. It also has more room behind the third row seat as compared to other vehicles to use class. Interestingly, the size of this year's Traverse have become a bit, nevertheless its fraternal twin, the GMC Acadia, actually shrank due to its 2017 redesign. This marks the very first time the two vehicles are sized differently. This lighter Traverse carries on the same V6 from your last generation, nonetheless it gains 29 horsepower to produce a total of 310 horsepower and is particularly paired with a fresh 9-speed transmission. This pairing, in conjunction with some aerodynamic tweaks, improves fuel economy by about 3 miles per gallon to your maximum of 21 miles per gallon combined 18 city 27 highway. Fears also a brand new turbocharged 4 cylinder engine, nevertheless it's limited on the sport styled RS trim. A bigger 7 inch touch screen with Android Auto Apple CarPlay and OnStar having a 4G connection and Wi-Fi are standard throughout the range. Chevy's team driver system, which permits you to track your vehicle, receive notifications should it be in an accident, and place limits on functions for example stereo volume, is standard equipment inside new model. Safety features for example blind spot monitoring can be purchased across a lot of range now, and adaptive cruise control relates to the Traverse, although merely to the top high country trim. Speaking on the high country, Chevy is expanding the Traverse range to push up against new luxury offerings. This new, leather draped trim features LED headlights and also all of Chevy's available driver aids and safety tech. Fiat's also a unique all-wheel drive system built to improve traction and control both on and off-road in comparison with the other trim levels optional AWD systems. Unfortunately, Adaptive cruise and related security features, for example forward collision alert with automatic braking, are limited to the superior two trims. That extended selection of trims means the Traverse is not only taking on traditional competitors for instance the versatile Honda Pilot, Fun Mazda CX-9 or practical Toyota Highlander. The 2018 Chevrolet Traverse High Country is priced above the highest trims of the majority of direct competitors as well as the intra-level trims for luxury SUVs, including the sporty Acura MDX, Classy Volvo XC90 or very German Audi Q7. Still, whether Chevy can play together with the heavy hitters on the luxury class will not relevant to most buyers. The mid-level trims give a competitive listing of features and plenty of passenger space all wrapped up within an appealing package. Well have a very better concept of just how the brand new Traverse stacks up if we get our mitts one, but determined by what we know until now, this appears to be a strong entry inside the three-row crossover category. What's new? The Traverse is fully redesigned for 2018. We think the LT cloth together with a convenience and driver confidence package that's standard for the all-wheel drive version offers you everything you need. Between the LT's basic upgrades along with the option package's suite of useful security features, the LT cloth strikes an excellent balance between cost and livability. 
trim levels and features. The 2018 Chevrolet Traverse boasts seven trim levels, L, LS, LT Cloth, LT Leather, RS, Premier and High Country. These trims vary wildly from reasonably well equipped to luxury SUV competitor. Most of these trim levels are fitted which has a V6. Nevertheless the sport styled RS trim is exclusive in that it comes which has a torquey turbocharged four-cylinder engine. The standard engine with the Traverse is 3.6 litre V6 310 horsepower, 266 lbft of torque coupled with Chevy's new 9-speed automatic transmission. Most trims can be purchased in either front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive configuration. While it usually is the base model, the Traverse L comes respectably built with LED running lights, Xenon headlights, heated mirrors, 18-inch wheels and engine stop-start. Inside, you obtain cloth upholstery, a tilt-adjustable leader, seating for eight, a rear-view camera, on-star communications using a 4G LTE connection and onboard Wi-Fi hotspot, Chevy's team driver system along with a 7-inch MyLink touchscreen infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity. The L is limited in front-wheel drive as well as doesn't have access to most optional extras. It's a build to the trim, so you're unlikely to ever even view a Traverse L using a dealer lot. Functionally, the LS trim will be the bottom trim you will likely come across. The LS gets the same equipment because the L but can be found with all-wheel drive and also a few optional extras, like Secondro tablet mounts with dedicated USB charging ports as well as a cargo management package. Stepping as much as the LT cloth gets you Secondro captain's chairs instead of a bench, reducing seating chance to seven but improving accessibility and comfort. The LT cloth also gets roof rails, mirror integrated turn signals and also a power adjustable driver seat. Two notable options packages are available for your FWD Traverse cloth. The convenience and driver confidence package adds rear parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, an electrical liftgate, remote engine start, an aftermarket 8-inch infotainment touch screen, a color driver information display, and heated front seats. It also includes some active security features, blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert and rear parking sensors. The trailering package adds a trailer hitch and heavy duty cooling system. Note that optioning the LT cloth with all wheel drive gets you the convenience and driver confidence package standard. The LT leather, in both front or all wheel drive, provides the convenience and driver confidence package and adds navigation functionality towards the MyLink system. It also gets some luxury upgrades. These start, perhaps you may expect, with leather upholstery and continue having a 10-speaker Bose audio system, a 120-volt power outlet, an auto-dimming rear-view mirror having a built-in rear-view camera display, a top-down parking camera system, plus a power-adjustable passenger seat. A panoramic sunroof can be obtained as a standalone upgrade. The RS trim turns into a turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder 257 horsepower, 295 lbft of torque and is also only accessible in front-wheel drive. It is equipped much the same because the LT leather, though with unique styling cues and accents, including 20-inch wheels along with a black head-out grille and boaty badge. Near the very best of the range, the Premier trim adds LED headlights, auto-dimming side mirrors, hands-free operation for your liftgate, ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, an electrical adjustable steering column, and driver seat memory settings. Major packages to the Premier add the Driver Confidence 2 package which adds forward collision alert with pedestrian detection and low-speed automatic braking in addition to lane departure warning and intervention. Fears also the red line addition package, a look and feel package that blacks out the many chrome trim and adds the panoramic sunroof.
adding, "Our wheel drive on the Premier Trim gets you the driver confidence to package, trailering package and adaptive headlights. The range topping high country comes with each of the Premier's goodies and adds its own our wheel drive system through an auto locking rear differential, in conjunction with automatic high beams, the panoramic sunroof, adaptive cruise control, an energy folding third row seat, and unique interior leather upholstery. It can basically head with our wheel drive. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically can be purchased in multiple versions which can be fundamentally similar. The S on this review are according to our first drive in the 2018 Chevrolet Traverse RS Turbo 2.0 liters in line 4, 9 speed automatic, FWD. Driving. The RS Turbo 4 cylinder makes less horsepower but more torque compared to the standard V6. The smaller engine does not have any trouble moving the SUV's 2 ton mass. It is still a huge vehicle with low dynamic limits, but it really takes turns with increased control and fewer body roll than many rivals. Comfort The Traverse RS delivers a quiet comfortable ride and also a solid feel within the road. Wind and road noise is nicely damped, the seats are supportive without having to be confining, along with the taut suspension absorbs ruts and bumps without issue. Some big SUVs can seem to be light and hollow, not this place. Interior The RS leather upholstery feels and looks good. It's not luxury grade, However it's high enough quality because of the wear and tear this family SUV will endure. The controls are really easy to decipher and make use of except those for cruise control. Elbow room is generous, especially relating to the seat plus the door. Utility Even with reduced cargo space when compared with the last gen model, the Traverse delivers more max space than its rivals. Still you'll notice period of time room behind the upright third row. You can fully stand up a few carry-on bags there. The Traverse will tow approximately 5,000 pounds, just like most from the class. Technology My link offers robust features and it is easy to use. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are nice to get. Dual USB charge ports as well as a 120 volt outlet will please rear passengers. It's disappointing, though, how the adaptive cruise control method is limited to the highest trim.